Hey guys, Scheming Off The Grid here. Summer has arrived, but what beer do you reach out to grab to quench your thirst and fight off that hot, hot heat? Well, here at Got G, we have got you covered. Every Friday throughout the month of July, we are gonna review a new summer sampler pack. So, what are we drinking today? Today we're drinking the Shiner Texas Heat Wave Limited Edition Summer Pack. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a summer beer if you care to, and stay tuned to this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. Everybody, Dave DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and you're watching Gaming Off The Grid. Remember, everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> All right, here we go. July is Summer Beer Month here at Got G Studios. Every Friday, we're going to be doing that summer beer thing, but this is the first episode, so let's do this. We have the Shiner Texas Heat Wave Sampler Pack. So what's this involved? This includes a cherry limeade beer, a sea salt and lime beer, and a prickly pear beer. You get two of each in the six pack. It's from Shiner Texas. Texas, which is super cool. Everything's bigger in Texas, I know. So let's see if their beer is big. I'm gonna start with the Cherry Limeade and see how that tastes. So we're big fans of Shiner the Brewery. We have had, you know, a ton of Shiner Bach. That's just a good safe pull yeah. when you go to a place that doesn't have a good craft selection. Way into Shiner Cheer. So what do you think? Cause uh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, Cherry Limeade, I was hoping, you know, because that's a good summer taste. That's that's what a lot of people order like when yeah. they go to places. I want a good cherry lemonade. So I had high hopes for this one. It is kind of dropping the ball in my opinion. It has that medicinal taste, you know, like the cherry medicine. I love real cherries and the taste of them, but artificial cherries in my book do not translate well, especially in beer. It's weird, I kind of do like that fake medicinal cherry taste, but I totally get where you're coming from. I can see where that would drive some people away. This is a very crispy beer, very thin, but you know what? I like summer beers to be thin and simple. It's odd because yeah. I like complex beers, but kind of with my summer stuff, I don't. Well, if you're outside and sweating, yeah. you don't want something heavy to weigh you down. This doesn't really move the needle though. I mean, I'm with you there. I think this is an okay summer beer. If I went to a barbecue and somebody handed me this, I would be so much happier than if they handed me a Bud Light. But that is true, yeah. Uh, yeah, if it's if, hopefully this is the worst of the batch. Let's go with that. So yeah, we're gonna move us. on to the sea salt and lime. And uh, for some reason, you're the guy that's going first. So just hit it right now. Sea salt and lime. When I think of that, it makes me kind of think of like a margarita. It does not taste like a margarita. I'm kind of glad because I'm not a huge fan of margaritas. I don't know. You should probably try yours and it's let me know. Very uh, just clear, very clear beer. You can all see clearly through that. Yeah, it has a hint of yellow. Um, this beer is really well hydrated. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very. Uh, they've drank plenty of water here. This could be dangerously good. Yeah. This is like a Sprite almost. Li yeah, literally. it has that. If you're a fan of like lime tasting sodas, Sprite, Fresca, this kind of is very similar. I know there's not much carbonation in this. It's not gonna be as sugary, but it's still pretty good. You can taste that lime flavor. It's coming through pretty well. I don't know if I taste the salt as much. I was kind of expecting this to be more of like a Goza or Ooh, you know like a like sour. A sour yeah. goes a type of situation with that sea salt component because there's a ton of salt in gozas but uh no that's not what this is this is just a very thin i don't know ale or a log or whatever you want to call it the lime flavor kind of like sticks on my tongue after the beer goes away which is pretty enjoyable this is a good summer beer i could drink so many of these and be like oh how many have i had oh my God. Oops. Yeah. So this next one we're going to jump into, I want to lead this one off because it's called the Prickly Pear. This is my favorite beer in the pack. Wow. I really like this. Good like kind of soda component to it with a slight pear flavor. Very thin, but refreshing. Like this is just really good. Like I like this a lot. This one lingers the most out of all three of them. It has that pear taste. It's kind of tarty. <laughs> How like even... late to class? Yeah, like really like super late to class. <laughs> like he was in the bathroom smoking cigarettes. <laughs> no. Did you ever do that? No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I busted. Um, but it has a pretty enjoyable pear taste. This beer, for me, the home run of the pack. I think the sea salt and lime would be the next in line. And then, you know, I, I didn't dislike it as much as you, but the cherry limeade would be the third place if I had to rank them. How would you rank them? We are pretty freaking close. Cherry limeade, the last, I said immediately, not a huge fan of medicinal cherry flavor. And then I would go with the prickly pear. It's still good, it's still refreshing, it's light. But my favorite is the sea salt and lime. I just really like lime flavor. It's a nice summer taste. 
it quenches my thirst, it makes me want to go play some basketball. The unique thing for me about the sampler pack is a lot of breweries make their summer sampler packs out of beers that are already in their portfolio that they feel fit the season. These are unique beers by Shiner, specifically yeah, designed for, for the summer. With that being said, I don't know how you feel, but I feel like this sampler pack is a home run. It's pretty close. If they were to get rid of the cherry limeade flavor, I would say it's a home run. It might be an interesting six pack to bring to a party because of the variety. Yeah, I so think the I cherry limeade is a good idea. I just don't think they execute it. Yes, I, so think, like, I if, think maybe re revise it next year, yeah, Shiner. Shiner does a lot of good things because they're from Texas, which is also the home mm. of two of our favorite bands. Yes, the Toadies, Tripping Daisy. Ever heard of them? Yeah, if you haven't, you're messing up. Go check them out. In the comment section below, let us know, have you had this sampler pack? If so, what's your favorite? If you haven't, what's your favorite summer beer? And we always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. That is. I'm going to shut you off. There you go. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye, alligator crocodile. See you later. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> well, here at Got G, we got you covered every July. Every July. Yeah. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking the Shiner Texas Heat Wade. Heat Wade? <laughs> Who's Wade?